Hello, my name is Doug Clayton, and today I'm going to demonstrate the Westfax print driver. First thing I want to do is download it, and after we've downloaded it, we're going to install it. Make sure you contact your system administrator if you need privileges to do this, but assuming that you have the ability to install this, we're going to go ahead and double click it, and you'll get this dialog here. Most of the time you just hit next through all these. This puts it in the default location. You can, however, change it to be something else. For now, we're just going to hit next and then install. It only takes about a second to install. You'll see the icon popped over there on the left side. All right, here we go. Finish. Great. All right, the first time it runs, it's going to fail authentication because we haven't logged in yet. So let's go and hit settings here and log in. All right, print. There we go. And I'm going to have it remember me. There we are. Log in. Great. Now, after you log in, it's going to give you a list of your fax lines that you have access to. I only have access to one, so that's fine. I'm going to make that my default. And then every time I send a fax, I want to get a completion report sent to this address. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. There's some advanced settings here, too. You don't really need to mess with those, but if you need to debug, you turn this on. Uh, but for basically, just leave this alone. All right, great. So we're all good. Now, the print driver just kind of sits in the background. You don't really use it until you have to print. So let's go ahead and we're going to fax a resume. I'm going to hit Word here. We've got Bill Smith. We're going to go ahead and fax his resume off. So File, Print, and you're going to want to select instead of a local printer, the West Fax printer, and then hit Print again. Now here you'll see a little box pop up in the right corner. It's converting, and then that'll disappear, and then you'll see the West Fax print driver be populated with the resume. There we go. So there's that resume. I can also add additional documents here if I'd like just by clicking this add doc file and I can add more files. I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty happy with this. Hit start fax. Okay. So there's three quick little steps here you do before you send a fax. Uh, you have your default fax selected here. We're going to go ahead and grab a contact from my address book. Uh, grab this number here. Yes. Now I can also manually type a fax number in right here and hit add, but I already had it filled out. If I want to manage my contacts online, I can click this link right here and that takes me right off to the website to manage my contacts. And I'll go ahead and do that real quick, just so you can kind of see how it loads up here. All right, so you'll see the contacts loading in a web browser. This is our fax console. This essentially is a gateway for all things contact, managing faxes, managing your settings, etc. So that's what that is. There we are, and it loads. There is our user. So we can go ahead and add new users, edit them, etc. Okay. Got to close that. Fax options. Let's just explain these real quick. Your fax header, this is what goes in the top middle of your fax. So we'll just say Bill Smith resume. There we are. Subject, this shows up in the report that you get back. So you can put uh, Bill Smith resume here too if you like. And this reference number is kind of useful if you need to get. A, like a account number or something, you can put that on here. And then when you get a receipt, this will be in the subject of the receipt. So later on, if someone says, hey, I didn't get that fax, you can say, well, what's your account number? And you can search and you can find this number and then correlate it to a fax that you sent. So that's very useful there. All right, so the, third, the next option is cover page. We did design a cover page. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cover page on. It's called West Fax Test on our, in our case. I don't want the sender to be print driver, even though that's the name here. I'm going to call this Doug. And then I'm going to put a message. This is the resume I promised. Okay, great. Okay. Now we're pretty much ready to go. Now I can go and double click just to kind of inspect the facts. It looks good. And I can zoom in, move it around however you'd like. It looks really good here. Okay. And I say, okay, that looks great. Let's go ahead and send. So just click the send button here. And done. Fax is sent. Easy. A lot of people will just leave the print driver up all day long and they'll just hit add doc and they'll send documents that way. Some people use it by going the word and doing print, etc. So really, however you want to use it is fine. Uh, let's click on settings real quick. There's a couple more links here you need to know. And when you click on settings and you go to online links, we have three links here. These will show you three different things. One is your the faxes online. This takes you, takes you to the fax portal where you can look at your inbound and outbound faxes. This helps you manage your cover pages. 
and this helps you manage your contacts. There's other videos on our YouTube channel that'll show you how to manage cover pages and how to get into the portal. So I'm not gonna do that here today, but I just wanted you to know they were here. And again, there's our advanced settings. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close that. And that is the Westfax printer in a nutshell. Thank you very much.